Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. Today we're standing here in the Yellow River Sanctuary in Snellville, Georgia, Lawrenceville, Georgia area. What we're talking about is a flood from 2009. You see this mark right here behind me? That's the level the Yellow River came to here in 2009. You see that area all the way back there? That's the river. Now we really wanna show you how deep this river is. And the reason we wanna show you this is this is something we hear from people every single day. Hey, if my flood, if my, if my house floods, the whole earth is gonna flood. It's probably the common thing we hear. You know, I'm 30 feet up. I never have to worry about this property flooding. And honestly, a lot of times that attitude is also what costs a lot of flood victims everything because they think that something can never happen and then they lose everything because of a flood. I mean, look at COVID, look at 2020. No one ever could have predicted that kind of pandemic and what would happen to businesses, what would happen to people and how life would completely change. And you know, flooding can actually do this a lot and it has done this a lot. Ask the people in Oklahoma, the people in Nebraska, Florence, Alabama, ask all these people where flooding happened but they were in a low risk flood zone and we're told, well, you really don't have to worry about it. Maybe even by their insurance agent. But today we wanna to really show you how far deep this river goes. As you see here behind us, you can see this level right here and see how low down this river is. Imagine how much water it takes. It really doesn't take that much. And here in 2009, you know, it was several weeks of flooding and several weeks of rainfall that caused this issue but it completely changed flood maps forever. So you see, just because you're in a low risk flood zone doesn't mean your property won't flood. It doesn't mean that things like this can't happen like they did in 2009. Remember those maps are just kind of a measuring stick for regulatory purposes. It doesn't mean the water knows to stop at that bank, to stop at that low risk flood zone. So that's what we wanted to talk about today was the importance of carrying flood insurance in these areas, but also how things can happen that you just don't expect. Thank you.